Hey family, it's Auntie here and today we are reading this book. This book is called The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by Raphael Lopez. Hmm, where do you think the girl is going? She's opening this door. She has a book in her hand. Where do you think she's headed? To school? Hmm, maybe. Let's read and find out. There will be times when you walk into a room and there is no one quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way that words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom may fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto from Venezuela. Your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do this summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Chela says. These shells came from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with shells so fragile, they'll look like they turn into dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir a small triumph of a journey, their travels going on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room, when no one else is quite like you, You'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students are flying and sailing and going somewhere? There will be times when the lunch that your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. Maybe that girl might be feeling a little embarrassed because everyone is staring at her and wondering what she has for lunch. When even your own friend Nadja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, and the game isn't one you can ever really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. Hmm. That boy looks like he's feeling a little left out. Like he wants to play with the other kids, but maybe he's a little worried or afraid. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. Hmm. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready even though you don't know yet what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago. Reading books and telling stories and even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories where every new friend has something a little like you 
and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. The end. Wow, what a wonderful story about meeting new friends that might be a little different from you. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.